Hi, and welcome back to the e-learning series on BSF BioWaste Processing. This module from the chapter BSFL Post Processing will focus on refining BSF press cake into BSF meal and BSF crude oil into BSF oil. After watching this module, you will be able to describe the product qualities of BSF meal and BSF oil. You'll understand the flow diagram and the mass balance of refining BSF press cake and BSF crude oil. You can apply grinding BSF press cake, and you can also apply filtering and decanting BSF crude oil. You'll recognize process control parameters and apply procedures for data collection. Finally, you'll identify pros and cons of producing BSF meal and BSF oil. In the first part of this video, we will show you how to grind down dry press cake into BSF meal. This step is important when you want to use the BSF meal as an ingredient for other products like BSF pellets. To operate a pelletizer or an extruder smoothly, a fine powder is required. In the second half of the video, we will show you how to refine the BSF crude oil into pure BSF oil. Similarly, this refining process is important when you want to include the BSF oil in products like for example BSF pellets or also BSF soap. You find information on how to use BSF meal or BSF oil for pellets and soap linked in the video description. As a quick reminder, here you see again the process flow diagram of fractioning dried BSF larvae into BSF meal and BSF oil. However, this module only focuses on the refining part, so how to refine the dry press cake and the BSF crude oil. Here you see again the amino acid profile of BSF meal compared to fish meal and soybean meal. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins and are important to consider when formulating feed for animals. Each type of animal requires a certain amount of different amino acids in the feed. So when you're about to formulate a new feed containing BSF meal and you are replacing parts of fish meal and soybean meal, it's important to look at the types of amino acids that are in the feed. So for example, lysine, fish meal would contain a little bit more lysine than BSF meal, whereas soybean meal contains less lysine. So it's important to check that the feed that you're formulating still meets the requirements for a certain animal. So to make this BSF meal, the grinding operation is required. Here you see the mass balance for it. 1 kg of dry press cake results roughly in 1 kg of BSF meal. Similarly, also the protein and fat content are the same in BSF press cake and BSF meal. So the composition is not changed in this process. It's only the texture. Dry press cake is very rough in its form, but extruders and pelletizer require a fine input material. That's why the grinding step is necessary. To operate the grinder shown in this video, electricity is needed and a power of 1800 watt. This grinder operates at a capacity of 60 kg an hour. For the grinding operation, you need a grinder with fabric bags to collect the dust. Then you need a bulk balance, a container for the meal collection and a storage container. Place the containers under the two outlets, the main outlet and the residue outlet. Then start the grinder. Continuously add dry press cake to the hopper until all is grinded down. Shut down the grinder. Remove the fabric bag from the grinder. Then finally weigh the BSF meal and note down the weight in the log sheet. Now in the second half of this module, we will focus on the second product resulting from fractioning, which is BSF oil. Here you see the fatty acid composition of BSF oil compared to the one of coconut oil. Fatty acids are the building blocks of the fat and they determine the quality of the fat. BSF oil contains mainly saturated fatty acid. And you can see the most dominant fatty acid is lauric acid, which accounts for around 50%. This is very similar to coconut oil. So the application of BSF oil could be similar to coconut oil. However, this fatty acid composition depends on the feeding substrate of the BSF larvae. A different substrate may lead to a different fatty acid composition. And this would also then maybe lead to a different application of the BSF oil. 
the fatty acid composition also affects its consistency, the oil consistency. So at room temperature, the BSF oil may be liquid or solid, as you can see in the two pictures. However, above 30 degrees, the BSF oil becomes liquid. So why is this refining step for the BSF crude oil required? It's because the BSF crude oil still contains solid. To remove those solids and to obtain a more pure BSF oil with around 99% fat content, you could filter BSF crude oil. Thereby, you will lose around 40% of the crude oil mass. And the remaining solids on top of the filter are dark particles and they mainly consist of proteins and fat. This filtering process is a slow process. However, you could speed it up a little bit by using a vacuum pump. This requires electricity. For oil filtering, you can use a simple coffee filter and a simple plastic funnel. If you have, you can use a vacuum pump and a filter paper, Erlenmeyer and a Buchner funnel. To store the oil, we recommend using a light tight storage container. Make sure you start the oil filtering step right after pressing and the crude oil is still warm and liquid. If your oil already hardened, just place it in a warm water bath quickly. When you use the simple coffee filter setup, place the funnel on top of your oil storage container. Then place the coffee filter inside the funnel and pour the crude BSF oil into the filter. Then let the oil passively filter through the coffee filter and this may take a while. You can set it up overnight, for example. Then remove the filter with the residue. When you use a vacuum pump setup, place the filter paper on top of the funnel. Wet the filter paper with a little bit of water. Then pour the crude BSF oil into the funnel. And then turn on the vacuum pump and let the crude BSF oil filter through. In the end, discard the filter paper with the residue. Collect the BSF oil and store it in a light tight container. If you have larger quantities of BSF crude oil, filtering is not a feasible option. If you don't have access to more sophisticated equipment like an oil decanter centrifuge, you can consider using the simple method of decanting. For this simple decanting method, you only need a cylindric container for storing the crude oil, a plastic tube and a plastic syringe to suck the oil, and you will also need a light tight storage container for storing the BSF oil. Place the crude BSF oil on top of an empty box or container, so it's on a higher level compared to the storage container. Then attach the syringe to one end of the plastic tube. Insert the other end of the plastic tube into the upper oil fraction. Then pull the syringe so the oil is sucked from the crude oil container. Then remove the syringe and let the oil flow into the lower storage container. Make sure that the tube is constantly immersed in the top oil fraction. Stop the process as soon as the tube touches the sedimented residue fraction. We come back to the lock sheet. You will already have recorded before how much pressed cake and how much pressed liquid was yielded from the fractioning process. Now complete the lock sheet by filling in the mass of meal and mass of oil obtained from the refining process. Now we would like you to give you some pros and cons on producing BSF meal and BSF oil to help you decide if this process makes sense for your BSF side. So BSF meal and BSF oil are high quality raw materials and the BSF meal has a prolonged shelf life compared to the dried larvae. BSF meal is a potential substitute for fish meal and soybean meal and can be included in feed pellets. Similarly, BSF oil is a potential substitute for coconut fat and can be included in feed or cosmetic products. Downsides are that the feed formulation is still in research, so it might be difficult to find the right formulation for your animal. Then the cost price of BSF meal is currently higher compared to the fish meal and soybean meal. Similarly, BSF oil is not competitive yet with other fats used in the feed and cosmetic industry. 
before we end this module, we would like you to ask a quick refreshing question. Question number one. You want to include PSF meal in a pellet. What do you need to consider? The BSF meal, as well as other ingredients, need to be grinded to ensure a very fine particle size. Second question. You want to sell your BSF oil. How can you explain the quality of BSF oil to someone who never heard about BSF oil? You could show this person the fatty acid profile of BSF oil and compare it to another oil like coconut fat. This can give a first idea of its quality and potential applications. Now we're already at the end of this module. We saw that grinding BSF press cake produces a fine meal which can be used as a raw material for feed pellets. Filtering is a simple process to purify BSF oil and it's applicable for small batches. Decanting is applicable for larger batches but the refined BSF oil is less pure. Thank you for watching this module, part of the e-learning video series on BSF bio-waste processing. More information can be found in the BSF step-by-step -step guide, which you can download through the QR code here. Both of these materials were part of the forward project by EWAC, in collaboration with the Ministry of Public Works in Indonesia and funded by SECO, the Swiss State Secretariat for Economic Affairs.